Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Firewood at the Furnace. We're going on a little hayride today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is uh, eight bales of straw that I acquired, and we are starting to cut grass here in Maryland. I think we've already cut it once or twice so far, but it's time to get this yard fixed up in the middle here where it's all, it was all muddy and the grass is all tore up. And even though it's leveled out now, we need to get some grass go going. So first thing, first part of this video today, we're going to be laying down some grass seed, throwing some straw over top of it because here in a couple hours, we've got to go to a tree service job and we've got to pick up one, maybe two dump trailer loads of logs from the tree service. We'll give you some coverage of the job, what's going on there. It's actually a tree fell down and hit the neighbor's fence. And there's a few other trees that are in kind of a dangerous situation that they're taking out as well. Some cherry, some locust, and ash. So all really good firewood. We'll get over there and uh, help them clean that stuff up. So that's what's going on here today. Stick around. So here's the main area of concern that I want to get taken care of here first things first this morning. Uh, last week we blew all this uh, chainsaw shavings down into the off the stone and into the yard but you can see it goes back there pretty far where we have no grass growing and this aisle here this first row in between these first two rows is in a direct line of sight from the house straight down the driveway into this row so we want to have at least this looking pristine for the spring and summer seasons to come uh, we work over to the next row and we still got some cleanup to do in here I got to move that backhoe attachment, throw a little seed down over here as well. And then the third row is in pretty good, the, the center of the third and fourth row are in pretty good shape. But we're just going to th throw down some contractor grade seed uh, down here in this part of the yard. It's pretty damp right now. We had a little bit of, of a rain shower overnight, so it's a good time to throw this seed down. Throw some straw over it so it doesn't wash away and it'll look a little better at least and we'll get some grass growing. So we're not really worried about high quality plush grass going on here. Just to something to mow to keep it looking good. And I promised my mom that after the fellowship when things got so so crazy with the rain that I would fix this up in the spring for her. So that, this is our attempt to restore what was tore up. Now the straw bales, I acquired them. Taylor's high school softball team had a, a night game the other night under the lights and they did a cowboy and cowgirl theme. And the coach went and got some straw bales to kind of decorate the field in and around the field with the straw bales to go with the theme of the game. After the game was over, he said, I don't have any idea what I'm going to do with these straw bales. Does anybody want them? So I said, yeah, I'll take them. I got a use for it. Thinking about this project right here. So that's how I acquired the straw. We'll get the rest of the seed down and get some straw over top of it. And hopefully here in a week or two, we'll have some grass growing. This is good to do on this side now because I don't need to be in here anymore. No need for me to be driving over this or coming in with the skid loader for any reason because this row is completely filled up and nothing needs to go out of here until the fall when this wood is seasoned.
some of y'all might be saying this is dumb. This is a waste of time. This is a waste of money. This is a waste of trying to fix a yard up that might get torn up again. Uh, and it might get torn up a little bit again, but it's, it's not going to be like it was this past winter when uh, we really put a hurting on it. Uh, but this is called making good on a promise. When, when, before the fellowship arrived and when I knew the weather was going to be bad and we were going to be tearing this yard all to hell, I told my mom, I said, no matter what happens, no matter how bad it gets, I will make it right. So I am making good on that promise. Mom's up there right now, pressure washing the deck, and she's getting work done on the house. She, li she likes to keep the yard looking good, and it keeps her busy. Today is actually, the day of this recording, is my father's birthday. And so I thought it was a good day to come over here and spend some time with my mom and just to work in the yard. So that's what I am doing here. I am making good on a promise. I think it looks better already with the straw down. If nothing else, just, just to the eye to look down here and make it look like progress is being made will be a good thing. So I got a little bit of stuff to clean up over here in these other rows so that she can mow grass over there. And I just talked to Chaz and he said around noon, lunchtime-ish, uh, they'll be ready to start loading logs on the trailer. So I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up over here and then we'll go get some wood. So now all the aisleways are cleared out from debris, from wood pieces and chips and trash and stuff that the mower doesn't want to run over. All the aisleways are free and clear. Once this row is filled up, we got a few more face core to fill in, in here. And once that's done, which will be this week, I'll be able to seed and straw this area as well. But mom's on the mower now. She's up there cutting. She just went by. Uh, she's up there cutting around the house and then she'll be down here to cut the field. So she hasn't seen this yet. I think she'll be pleased with how that looks and how that's coming along. And it's just about time to head to the tree service head to their job and get some logs. All right, so here we are on the job. I'm standing next to the chipper, so apologize for the noise. I'll try to move away in a second. But this is the big gnarly maple tree that started this mess. It fell over here and landed on the neighbor's fence. Uh, fortunately, it did not hit the shed and just you know did a little damage to the fence there. But there's an ash tree. You can see they've already got it cut off. It was hanging directly over the shed, ready to fall. So they're taking care of that ash tree. Actually, there's two ash trees there, a smaller cherry tree behind it. I don't know if you can see the rigging up in the top of that. Uh, but those are coming down. Billy's up in the bucket right now. This is a locust tree that he's taken down. And it's a pretty tall, good-sized locust tree. That'll be perfect firewood size. Uh, here in the center of your screen now is a cherry tree that he's piecing down. So it should be at least one load, possibly two loads of firewood. I'll give you a little bit of aerial coverage here too from the drone. It's just topping out this locust tree now. Once he gets the top out, he'll piece it down, put a rope in it, and we'll pull it on over. So that's what's going on here. I'll let you know when all the logs are on the ground and see how much wood we get off this job.
big locust tree is down. We're getting that first. Getting a little late in the day. The mini had a mechanical problem. So we're using the, the big SVL 97 to do most of the work with. Billy just left with the bucket truck to go get the dump truck to take all the gnarly wood to the dump. I'm getting uh, these straight locust poles. I'm gonna get some straight maple poles and probably a couple cherry poles too. And we'll see where we go from there. So all the locusts is on there. Got a couple sticks of cherry and this maple here, I had originally told him I didn't want none of this gnarly maple tree, but there's a couple poles here that look pretty good right here on top. So I think we're gonna throw a few of these maple poles on the load as well. Uh, you can see there's a couple ash and that small cherry still gotta come down. But I think this maple will fill up the first load and we'll get out of here. back to the yard and this load is gonna stay right here on the trailer for now I'm not even gonna dump it because I'm sure you can guess since it's afternoon time where I need to be here shortly and if you guessed at a softball game or a baseball game you are correct Taylor is playing a high school softball game this afternoon due to the delay and the breakdown of the little mini loader at the on the tree service job, uh, slow the job down a little bit. They're gonna bring the dump truck down and load the rest of the wood on there and then just take it back to the shop. So this job was pretty close. So it was gonna be real convenient for me just to run back and forth to get all the wood here in the yard. But it didn't work out. So you adapt and you overcome. And that will be it for today. Got the yard squared away a little bit. Mom already mowed everything. It's looking wonderful around here. The grass is turning green and it's looking like springtime. Finally, and the sun's shining, it's gorgeous. But anyway, until next Wednesday, I hope you all have a great week. And don't forget that next, not this coming Thursday, but next Thursday will be the monthly live stream. So mark it on your calendars and I hope to see you all there. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll see you next time.